75 heading southbound when you're north of Chattanooga. Back on the road again. Uh, said goodbye to friends and uh, the city of Maryville, Tennessee. Thank you for your hospitality. And uh, now we're just working our way towards Dalton, Georgia. I'm going to meet up with a friend there I haven't seen in 40 years. No, I'm not giving away my age. But uh, so far, traffic's been good. The weather's been good. Back on the road feels good. Heading down to Florida for a little bit more warmer weather. Coco Beach, here we come. Okay, so I'm going through Atlanta, a uh, bunch of construction there, infinitely, as we all know. And um, I'm on uh, 285 going around Atlanta, actually on the bypass. And the construction, they've got those concrete barriers the, that uh, protect the, where, the side where the construction is taking place, those lane dividers. On one side, on the right lane, and on the left side is more traffic and, and uh, trucks. They narrowed the lanes as well when they put those dividers up. We're going through there, moving along, maybe 45 miles an hour. And uh, one of those Jersey curves, one of those barrier things was knocked out a little bit. So the truck just ahead of me, to the front and right of me, sees it, takes evasive, moves over towards me and hits his brakes. I can't move over anymore. I'm already, I can reach out the window and simply just lay my hand on the truck trailer next to me. So I blow, I blow by this guy after he slams on brakes and pow, my mirror hits him. And it's still intact, it still works, but let's take a look, see how, how what it looks like. Metal casing. Everything's intact. Everything's intact, still work. Okay, well, glad about that. A little bit of smudge, I can probably buff that out, hit it with some touch up paint, no big deal. But man, what a sound! I was like, what the heck was that? Uh, we later passed each other and we were just like, you know, we'll just keep going. I mean, what, what are you gonna do? Could be bad at each other, nobody did anything wrong, they just didn't give us any room. I mean, we were sucking in the sides. <sighs> Almost the entire year without any incident. Well, when it comes to, besides shred my tires, when it comes to banging up the RV part of the uh, whole situation here. So we're gonna get back on the road and <laughs> continue on. There it is. Welcome to Florida. Woohoo! Celebrate. It was a year ago that I crossed that line going that way and made it uh, all the way up to uh, Glacier National Park, Montana, almost to the Canadian border. And uh, I'm back. I'm back. This is my home. So we're going to have some fun around here. <laughs> yeah, Florida. What's up, hey, everybody? There's some obvious signs that uh, I'm back in Florida. It is flat, and there is a lot of swamp, a lot of lowlands, a lot of river, rivers, lakes, bodies of water. This is the West Orange Trail. I used to do a lot of uh, rollerblading and bike riding down this trail from Winter Garden to Claremont here. I used to live in Claremont. Pretty excited today. I'm waiting on my buddy Tim to come pick me up. We're gonna go back to his place and uh, pick up a little something for me. 
Well, it's kind of hard to see, but this is uh, the Lone Cabbage. And if this place could talk, we used to come out here uh, on our motorcycles. And this was the place to come for gator, uh, frog legs, um, but I come here for the catfish. Yeah, so these guys, they just take these airboats, gun them and drive them right up on the bank. Can't go wrong with the catfish special. Catfish nuggets. Real hush puppies. What? Coleslaw and a plastic fork. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here's what we're picking up. This is pretty important. A little something something. For me, I'll take that. Actually, I'll just take this one. Let me take the gold wing. Take it. It needs to be ready. I'm good with that. It's dirty. It's dusty. Check me out guys, I am in t-shirt, shorts, and flip-flops. <laughs> and hey, welcome to Cocoa Beach. You head down that way, that takes you to uh, Patrick Air Force Base. Right out there, it takes you to Spain, Europe. And then if you head back up the beach this way, it takes you to Daytona Beach, Cape Canaveral, I've watched some really nice rocket launches from here. What a beautiful day. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, definitely gotta have a wetsuit if you wanna go surfing. Down there's the pier. I did a lot of surfing there. This is where I would come every spring break with my friends and every weekend. Wow, coming back to Cocoa Beach sure brings back the memories. So many weekends, so many spring breaks, coming out here, loading up the surfboard on the top of the car, driving out here, and uh, meeting up with all the friends. We would surf all day, be in the sun all day long. We didn't care how hot it was. It's kind of strange because just my last video, I was showing how not to freeze in your RV. Oh man. And now it's, you know, we're back here in Florida. It's sunny, it's beautiful. I'm in shorts and flip-flop. I got sand all over my feet, beach sand. 
Ah, oh, life is good. watching. I'm Bobby Jean and this is my therapist.